what you need to know about concert movie etiquette before seeing Taylor Swift's era's tour in theaters, tis the season for concert films, Taylor Swift and Beyonce are releasing filmed versions of their uber-successful summer tours, eras and renaissance, respectively, and Talking Head's seminal concert movie, Stop Making Sense, recently received a theatrical re-release nearly 40 years after its premiere, demand is clearly high. Swift's movie, which debuts Friday, even surpassed $100. Million in advance ticket sales a week before her film hits theaters, said AMC Theaters, which is distributing the film, but a concert film poses new questions for moviegoers used to sitting down and staying quiet. Are you allowed to get up out of your seat and dance? What about singing along? How do you react to your fellow moviegoers who ask you to sit and pipe down? And can you bring that schnazzy Taylor Swift branded popcorn bucket home with you, fear not, dear reader? We have answers to these and more questions, so whether you've got tickets for the eras or renaissance concert films or stop making sense, you'll be ready to enjoy great music without worry, do, sing and dance, yes, it's more than okay to leap out of your seat, bust a move and sing like you're the one holding the mic during the eras film, per AMC Theaters, which released its own guidance ahead of the film's premiere. The initial decree came from Swift herself, in an Instagram post announcing the film, she told her millions of fans that singing and dancing are encouraged. And few dare disagree with Ms. Swift, even the indie chain Alamo Drafthouse, which prides itself on a quiet, phone-free filmgoing experience, is welcoming fervent fans who plan to get a little rowdy, within reason. The same likely goes for Stop Making Sense and Beyoncé's film. When the music is that good, and you finally have a crystal clear view of artists you'd otherwise have to pay hundreds to see, it's natural to want to sing.